welcome to lovely nail and beauty don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell and also don't forget to click on the like button if you like the video thank you hi guys welcome to lovely nail and beauty decoration today i'm gonna do a resign project so right there i have my big silicone cups and the small one and i have my small wood stick that i'm gonna use for my project so this silicone cup i have some graduation on the side and i really need to be careful when i pour my resign so first of all i'm gonna start with this that's the resign one it's right resign over there so i'm gonna pour uh, 40 milliliter of resign inside and again the while i'm pouring my resign i have to watch the graduation because it's very important for me to have the right dimension of my resign so i'm gonna put 40 milliliter inside and i just watch my graduation i think that's okay so now i have 40 milliliter of resign so now i'm gonna yes it's 40 milliliter i just want to make sure i have the right amount so now i'm gonna try to pour the harder resign it's also resign so there we go that's the harder the resign so i'm gonna add 40 milliliter again while i'm pouring my resign i watch my graduation to make sure that the quantity are equal it should be equal so that my project will work so right there i have my liquid of resign so now i'm gonna use my hood stick and i'm gonna mix the both solution together so when you mix your resign it can take like two to three minutes to make sure that everything is well mixed i mean especially for this project the quantity of resign is not that too big so it's gonna mix quick and nice but when the quantity is big it's kind of trouble because you really have to stare for a couple of minutes to make sure that the bot mixture mix properly so it's ready so now i'm gonna use my small cup over there so those cup i'm gonna pour a small quantity of resin inside of in each of them because i would like to create a different color of resin so i pour just a small quantity i always left the clear resin on the side if i need more that's the way i do so now i'm gonna show you what i use i use artesia that's the black metallic the metallic black color sorry so i'm gonna drop a little bit inside so today my project i would like to create a caribou with a resign so i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna make it so now i'm gonna use the gold color the metallic one so in this project i use metallic color for that project i think it's gonna look more pretty at the end so i'm gonna mix my resign with my acrylic painting for both of them i just take like a couple of second to mix it up because it's a small quantity i don't need too much time for that so now i'm done with this one and again you can also use the same wood stick to mix any color as long as you clean your wood stick so that the color will not mix so now i'm gonna mix the gold color it looks pretty i like it it looks so nice so i'm using the same wood stick but i just clean it on the side each time that i want to do a color so now I have those two colors over there. I'm gonna do a third one. So I'm gonna pour my clear resign inside in small quantity. There we go. So I'm gonna play with three colors for my project today. So now I'm gonna add the green metallic, the metallic green, sorry. So I'm gonna drop some drop inside because the quantity are very small, the resign, and I'm gonna mix everything together. And I like the way it looks. I like the color. It's really shiny. So now I'm gonna put that on the side and I'm gonna start my project. So I'm gonna use those three colors and I have my clear resign on the side just in case if I need more resign. 
right there I have my silicone mold so this is the caribou the caribou silicone mold I'm gonna first start to draw the gold color so for the gold color I will just like to uh, pour it on the head I just want the head to be gold because I will like I will mix the color later on so okay so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit my mold you can see some bubble here bubble I just want to make sure that the liquid went all over the place so now I'm gonna add uh, my metallic black color so I'm gonna pull it up I'm gonna fill up my mold with the black so for the body I have two color I have the gold and the black so I think my silicone mold is full so I'm gonna put it on the side and now I'm gonna bring a new silicone mold and I'm gonna use the green and the gold color so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use I'm gonna clean that first so now I'm gonna bring a new silicone there we go this one is a silicone that allow me to create the arm from the caribou so I have the big and the small so I'm gonna choose to work with the small corn horn sorry so there is two kind I'm gonna use two then so for this one because of the way my mold silicone look I'm gonna use a pipette so because the area are very small if I pour it without pipette it's gonna be a mess so I'm gonna take some gold and I'm gonna start to put it as you can see it's more clean when you use the pipette especially for small area it's came nice and give a nice look of your job so there we go so I'm gonna start to put the gold color with the pipette so and you can see it's so easy it's very easy because the silicone have a small area if I pour them it's gonna be a mess so I'm using my pipette so that's how I'm gonna create the, uh, the arm of my pipette so guys so this is one of my project uh, I hope that is gonna come good we're gonna see at the end and also if you will like you can also go to lovely net and beauty on YouTube check my channel I did some art project you can see the kind of job that I'm doing and also feel free if you want to leave me a message a comment even critic are welcome so that I can improve my work the way that I present my video or if there is something that I need to change please guys just let me know so now I'm gonna do the small horn over there so for the horn I'm gonna add two color I'm gonna add the gold and the end is gonna be with the green the metallic green that's the color that I choose and I just have a feeling that it's gonna come great that's just the feeling that I have so I'm gonna add some gold over there there we go it looks so nice already so the pipette really helped me to do not be messy especially for this kind of mold so when you have a small mold or small area that you should fill up with the resign it's better to use the pipette it's much clean and precise so now I'm gonna do the end of my branch there we go the end of the arm here so it look like I'm drawing something I like it it look very clean so that will be the two on that I'm gonna use for my project and again is a decoration project so you can do that if you want to decorate your room or your office you can do that too so it look good already those two color I like them so now I'm gonna add more silicone in my pipette and I'm gonna try to fill up the other set of on I'm gonna try to fill it up I hope it's gonna be okay let's see So far so good I like the way it look so far so good it's not that too bad it's not that too bad okay I'm almost done I'm almost done so I keep putting my pipette it gives such a precision the way that I pour my resign I love it that's so amazing 
you look very beautiful so when i will be done fill up my mold i'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours on the flat surface so after 24 hours the resign is gonna be ready it's gonna be hard well dry and after that we're gonna come back to do the rest of my work but i like the way it looks it's very amazing and it's so easy to put with the pipette and when you use the pipette you really need to be, be careful take your time don't rush you should not be shaking too much but it's amazing it looks so clean i like it that's so nice wow so that's the decoration video that i'm doing today with you guys i love it it looks great so now I'm going to put that on the side and it's going to dry for 24 hours. After the 24 hours, we're going to come back to see how it looks. Hi guys, after 24 hours, now we're going to see how my project looks. So first of all, I have the silicone mold over there. So the way that I look at this silicone mold, I feel like it's going to be hard to take off my carry boo. So I think the big part is going to be easy, but the head is going to be hard because of the ear of the caribou. I'm scared that it's going to break. So now I'm going to the neck to take off my caribou. I'm very scared because the ear are really small piece and it's easy to break. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it off properly without breaking any ear from the caribou. But it's pretty hard. Some silicone molds are very hard to take off. It's not that so easy, but some are easy. It depends on the shape, how it looks. And in this case, you go to the big part to, to go into the small one. So that's not that so great. So I'm gonna try again. It's kind of a fight. It's really a big fight. Mm, I don't really like it. It's very hard to take it off because I don't want to break the ear of the caribou. So I have the body already and I'm stuck around the neck close to the head. So I try again, but I don't know if I will be able to take it out properly. It's very challenging and it's tough. That's not something easy. I didn't know that it's going to be like that. Wow. Oh my God. So let's see, I'm going to try again, but I'm very scared that I'm going to break the ear of the caribou. I don't want to do that. Otherwise, my project will lose the beauty of it. I don't want to break nothing. I want to keep everything safe and nice. So it's pretty hard. I think I cannot do it like that. It's very hard. I'm going to break one ear, I guess. But I don't want to mess up the caribou too. Because I really want to see how it's going to come. But it's very hard. So some silicone molds are like that. It depends the shape that you want. It depends the mold that you buy. Not all of them are easy to take off. To take off. So it's too hard. I think for this one I will not have the choice though. I'm going to cut my silicone mold. I think I'm going to do that because it's pretty hard. I can't. I really try. I don't want to break the ear. I want to keep it. I don't want to destroy the caribou, but I feel like I cannot take it off the mold from the head. If I try, I'm going to break one ear and one ear is going to be safe, but I don't want to do that. It's pretty hard. I didn't know that it's going to be like that. Wow. So I think, you know, I'm going to just take off my scissor and cut my mold. I don't have the choice if I want to preserve my caribou. So I'm going to cut. Some mold are like that. I didn't know that it's going to be hard to take it off. So be careful when you buy mold. Make sure that you buy the one that is easy to take off. So there we go. Oh, okay. Wow, that was a work. So that's my caribou over there. The ear are good. He look good. He look handsome. So I like the way it look. So 
so i'm gonna put it on the side and then i'm gonna deal with the horn not the silicone mold for the horn so here i have a tool so for this one i take my time being gentle because it's very small silicone mold so that's the first one it looks cute i love it so now i'm gonna take off the second one take my time it's very big but the third one that i didn't do it's even more bigger than this one so let's see i take my time to take off this wow it looks amazing like a tree i like it so now i'm gonna pick up my caribou over there and you just put it like that there we go that's the way it look he can also stand if you want that to be stand in your office or table that look amazing i love it wow that's beautiful so now we're gonna put the small horn over there wow that's amazing and i like the way that the color look so guys this is my project for today i hope you like the video if you have any message feel free to send it to me i will be glad to answer i love the way that the caribou came out and the color the way that they mix together it's amazing thank you so much guys for watching and see you next time don't forget to subscribe to my channel to click on the notification bell and also the like button if you like the video thank you so much for watching